So now I'm going to show you how to unpack, inflate, and use some of your accessories that came with your Lona. Unbuckle the side clips and unzip it like a suitcase. So there's going to be some interior clips holding everything together. So you'll just unbuckle those. All right, and this is your aero paddle seat. I'm going to set that to the side. This is the top of your Lono kayak. Finally, the Lono. Okay, one little tip before we get rid of the bag is um, your Lono is going to come with some of these silica packets and don't throw them away. So keep them in the bag because after you are done paddling your Lono, you have a great day, you clean it, you roll it back up, they'll just take out any dampness in your bag. So definitely keep these. So now it's time to unroll your Lono. So just undo the strap. Remove the side bite vent covers. You can throw these away after they get used. Okay, so you got your Lono unpacked, unfolded. The next thing you're gonna do before you even start inflating is put your pedal port in. It's the first thing you should be doing. Let's grab that pedal port. I'm just gonna rotate these clips and get the plastic off your clear pedal port cover. All right, and the notch goes in here and it should drop straight in. Then you'll just tighten it, everything back, keep it in place. So your pedal port, it has this notch up here. If you look closely, it says front. So you wanna make sure the side that says front is facing the front of your Lono. So your pedal port cover has four G clips that will attach like this. So once you have your pedal port in, that was step one. Next, you can start inflating your Lono kayak. You have three chambers in the base. You've got your floor, two side chambers. So let's open your provided hand pump. So it comes with a hose, your pump, and then these are important. These are the handles, extenders that come with your pump. So you wanna make sure you put these on too. So each handle has a little R and a little L for left and right to match up with these. So just screw those in. And then your pump, it has an inflate port. You'll see I and F for inflate. And then a deflate port on the handle that says DEF. So obviously we want to inflate. So you're going to screw the black cap into our inflation port. All right, and to start pumping, you're gonna twist off the cap and make sure this yellow pin is up. So if you twist counterclockwise, it's gonna close and be down. You wanna make sure you twist clockwise and it pops up. That'll hold in the air. All right, twist your pump in. It's time to start pumping. <laughs> So you're gonna hit a point where it starts getting difficult to pump. So right now we're in second stage, so you can hear it. It's inflating when I pull it up and inflating when I push down. So there's this lever on the back. If we switch it to single action, now I can pull it up and it's only inflating on the down pump. So it's gonna make it a little bit easier to get your PSI where it needs to be. So we recommend inflating your Lono, the side chambers and the bottom chamber, 10 to 15 PSI. I'm gonna stop right around 12 for my side chambers. And then you just twist to pull your pump out and re-secure that cap. And then repeat on the other side. Once you have the base of your Lono inflated, we are gonna inflate the top and the seat. Top of your Lono looks a little bit like this. Okay. 
You're gonna do the cap, make sure the pin's up. Once you have your top inflated, you're gonna secure the G-clips. There's four of them, two on each side. So just make sure it's centered up. I like to get them all situated first before tightening them. All right, once your G-clip's in, just pull the strap tight. Make sure that's secure. Okay, so the last thing we need to inflate is your aero paddle seat. So this is your top and the bottom of the seat. And these, the inflation's a little bit different. They only need to be inflated from um, seven to 10 PSI. But I would say it's more for comfort. So maybe you like it a little underflated for a little bit more cushion, or maybe you need a little sturdier seat, I would go higher. And that's the last thing you need to inflate. Now I'm gonna show you how to install the aero paddle seat. All right, once you're ready to put your aero paddle seat in, you just place it in obviously with your seat back this way. So the G-clips in the back, on the back of your aero paddle seat are going to attach to these loops in the back. You know, it might be easier to put this on without the top, so you can always put that on first. Secure the front ones, same thing. G-clip will slide into the loops. So the first time you use it, they're gonna be a little loose. I would recommend figuring out where on your Lono you like to sit, whether it's a little forward or you like to be all the way back for a little more leg room. So I would get in, figure out where you like to sit, slide your seat around, and then once you're there, make sure everything's secure, and then tighten your straps. And that'll keep your seat from sliding around. So, the next thing you're gonna do is attach the G-clips from the seat back to the seat bottom. So on these, you just wanna make sure that G-clip is pointing down so it won't slip out. So, same situation here. You wanna adjust your seat back for comfort. You know, maybe you like sitting more upright or maybe you like to lean back a little bit. So I would recommend sitting on your Lona before you get out on the water, figuring out where you want that seat back positioned. So once you get it set, you get settled, just pull those straps. So once you have your seat adjusted where you want it on your Lono and you have your seat back adjusted where you would like it, the last thing you'll do is attach this back strap. And your seat's all set up.